Hello everyone and welcome back to more Rivals of Eat This Story. I'm your host Cross Platinum and let's get in to Zetterburn's story. Let's do it! Yes, I would love to view the story. Zetterburn. Zetterburn and his loyal legion returned to the fire capital after vanishing the vanquishing the air armada ships that preyed upon the fire emperor's far-flung trade routes. However, their triumph return is met by alarms and celebrations, but by black banners and the dir dirges. The fire capital is in deep mourning. What happened? Oh, right. Your dad got folded like a hum. Spoiler. Let's do this. Wow, that was, um, that was a match. My bad. Uh, sorry, made cool. Uh, see you next time. Okay, moving on. Zetterburn discovers that his father, Emperor Renburn, has been assassinated with a famous dagger belonging to an inconceivable suspect, Forceburn, Zetterburn's beloved brother. Meanwhile, Minister of the Trade, Luxodot, is to be crowned the new emperor. The Fire Council convinces a distraught Zetterburn that this was his father's wish. Zetterburn, a, a loyal citizen to the fire, accepts the council's will. He pledges his loyalty to Emperor Luxodont, Luxodont and vows revenge upon the treacherous forest burn. But he didn't kill him. I did. I want vengeance for my father. Nails, bro. Let's go. Got caught in the nails, son. Part three. My brother. That night, Forceburn materializes in Zetterburn's imperial chambers. Forceburn ple pleads for his brother to aid and accuses the council of murdering their father. Certain of Forceburn's kill, Zetterburn flies into rage, attacking his once beloved brother. Forceburn barely manages to escape with his life. Damn. You killed father! Oh, damn. Go. Let's go. Sorry, brother. I have to give you that uppercut. Give you that burning show. You can. Yeah, my brother was wilding out for a second. Uh, coronation. Uh, coronation day and dawns. The citizens present Luxa Dot with the flame imperium, a sacred torch granting the rule of the fire. Zetterburn watches, exhausted and doubtful. Suddenly, a water creature appears and steals the flame. It is elusive orcane. Orcane leads, into the, leads with the flame in a mysterious purple puddle and it's gone. You stole that! Oh my god, now we have to get orcane! Go. Fire on. The Fire Council orders Zetterburn to retreat the flames. Ever loyal, the Fire General unleashes a maelstrom on the merchant port, the home of Orkane. Zetterburn rampages through the unprepared city while he reaches the dock where he finds the purple Orkane guarding the ceremonial torch. Alright.
Come on, teleport into the fire. Hey, I meant with the fire on it. All right, never mind. That's fine, we did it. We're done. Suddenly, Orcane dis uh, dissipates. Um, the water creature was a mere shadow. He set with doubt, his instincts ablaze. Zetterburn's eyes fall into the purple glow and plumes of smoke in the western horizon. He follows the west. Hey, that wraps up Zetterburn's story. Alright guys, tune in next time with the last six rivals teaming up to take on the Abyss. I'm Cross Platinum, and I am out. Later!